Hey guys, my name is Brianna. I'm the owner and founder of Yogability Fit. For this next 15 minute segment video, it is yin yoga. So we're gonna start in child's pose. So we're gonna bring our feet together, knees mat distance apart, bringing the glutes all the way back if you can. Walking the hands all the way forward and dropping the forehead all the way down to the ground. Start by closing your eyes and breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. As you breathe in through the nose, feel or fill that belly with air. And as you breathe out through the mouth, think of belly button to spine. Slowly walk your hands all the way to the right. So you're gonna get that nice side stretch on that left arm. You'll feel it a little bit on the right, but mainly on the left. Focusing on your breath. And slowly walk your hands back to the center, taking a deep breath in through your nose and all the way out through the mouth, letting everything go. And walk your hands all the way to that left side. So this time you're gonna feel that stretch on that right arm, a little bit in the left again, but mainly the right. And slowly walk your hands back to the center, again, taking a deep breath in through the nose, and now through the mouth. Good, slowly coming into that tabletop position. You want your knees hip distance, the hands under your shoulders, fingers spread apart, pressing the pads of each finger down onto the mat. So moving into cat cow, so we're tucking the toes, flattening the back, inhaling as your head lifts up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, flatten the feet, round the back, bring your head all the way to your chest, Inhale, flatten, and exhale, round. We're gonna go one more. We're gonna bring that left hand in the center, right arm reaching all the way up, moving it in that forward direction, bringing the whole body into this movement, opening up that right shoulder. Inhaling as the arm goes up and exhaling as it goes down and reversing the direction. So same motion of breath, inhale as the arm goes up and exhale as it goes down. Lifting the arm nice and tall. And we're gonna thread it all the way through, bringing the right ear and shoulder all the way down to the mat. If you like a deeper stretch, you can bind that left arm behind your back or straight out in front of you. Slowly unbinding the arm, lifting that right arm all the way up and meeting it back with the left. This time bringing that right hand in the center, lifting that left arm all the way up and circling it in that forward direction, inhaling as the arm goes up, exhaling as it comes down, really opening up that left shoulder. And reversing the direction, same motion of breath. Lifting the arm nice and tall and threading it through bringing the left ear and shoulder to the mat. Again, you can bind that right arm. And I'm 
lifting the arm, lifting that left arm all the way back up and meeting it back with the right. So we're coming into our first downward dog. So we're tucking the toes, driving the hips up towards the ceiling, bringing our head in between our arms. We're gonna walk the dog, stretching out the calves. So just bending and flexing the knee. Lifting that right leg up in the air, circling it around, really opening up the joint. Bending and flexing the leg, circling the ankle, pointing and flexing the toes. We're gonna bring that right leg into pigeon pose. So you can either, there's two options. So the first option, dropping that left knee down, bringing that right leg into 90 or close to 90. You can stay here on your palms or you can come on all the way onto your forearms or you can bring your whole chest to the ground. If this is too much pressure on the knee, another option is to come all the way onto your back and bringing that right leg over the left, the left leg is bent, bringing your hands around to grab onto that left shin and pulling that left knee into your chest. You're gonna get the same exact stretch in that right hip. Breathing in through the nose and down through the mouth. So coming into lizard pose so if you're on your back you're just gonna flip back over to the front if you're in that pigeon pose on the front leg you're just gonna bring that right leg on the outside of your right hand dropping that left knee down again you can stay here or you could come onto your forearms and this is a little bit of a deeper hip opener of that right leg letting your head hang heavy relaxing the shoulders slowly coming onto your palms, bringing that right leg in the center. You're gonna drive the hips back, bringing that left or that right leg straight, hands on each side, back slightly flat, letting your head forward fold. So you should feel the stretch from the calf all the way to the hamstring. And slowly bring that foot flat again, this time stretching out the hip flexor. You're gonna feel it on that left side and tucking the left toes, meeting that right leg back into downward dog. So this time lifting that left leg up, circling it around, bending and flexing the leg, circling the ankle, pointing and flexing the toes. And this time bringing that left leg into pigeon. Again, you have those two options. So this time I'll show the other option. So you could stay on your palms or you could come onto your forearms or all the way down. coming into lizard so you're going to tuck those right toes you're going to bring that left leg on the outside of left hand drop that right knee again you can stay here or you could come onto your forearms letting your head hang heavy relaxing the shoulder coming back onto your palms you're going to bring that left leg in the center driving the hips back straightening that leg um, be mindful to not lock that knee um, you want to keep it slightly bent but straight enough where you feel that stretch from the calf to the hamstring and bring that foot flat again we're gonna open up that hip flexor stretching it on this right side Coming into neutral, we're just, we're just gonna bring the feet together, 
sitting all the way onto the ground. Opening up our legs wide, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down. So right arm over that right leg, reaching forward and dropping as far as you can. Focusing on your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And slowly coming up one vertebrae at a time. This time left arm over the left leg, reaching forward and dropping. Again, only as far as you can go. up one vertebra at a time. So you're gonna bring your hands in the center, walking them out only as far as you can go, dropping the head down, relaxing the shoulders. And slowly coming up one vertebra at a time. You're gonna bring your feet together, inhaling as arm goes up, exhaling forward, folding into your legs, Dropping your head. Slowly coming up one vertebrae at a time. So we're gonna lay all the way flat onto our back. Bringing that right knee into your chest. Bringing that right arm out like a T. Left arm bringing that right leg over. Our head is facing the right. So supine twisted stretch. Slowly bringing that knee back into your chest and all the way down. This time, left knee into your chest, left arm out like a T, left head or head to the left, right arm bringing that left leg over for supine twisted stretch. So now say so you're bringing your whole body down to the ground, arms to the side, palms facing up. You can get centered if you like. Closing your eyes, turning the mind off, breathing in and out through your nose, relaxing every muscle, bone, and joint in your body. start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles, bringing your head side to side, bring your arms all the way overhead, knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice big hug, slightly rocking side to side for that low back massage. Coming into right side fetal position, closing your eyes, breathing in through your nose, Last time, breathing in through the nose and letting everything out that no longer serves you out through the mouth. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through this practice. Namaste.